Hello and welcome. I'm Peter Brackley. The stage is set. The players are coming out. And with me, the unmistakable voice of Trevor Brooking. Yes, afternoon and thanks, Peter. It's great to be here up in the box with you, of course. This is an exhibition match here, but I'm convinced that's only in name. The players have too much pride, too much passion not to get stuck in and grind out a victory today if they can. We kick off, and let's hope it's a cracker of a match. Let's see what surprises are in store for us in this one. Can they get a clean strike here? Attack came to nothing. Shoots! You know, if the attackers had followed up and threatened the keeper, they could have made something of that mistake. Anyway, they have the corner. Clearance seized on, looks for a gap. Sturdy defence here. Stop the attack well. Just needs half a yard here. The keeper's got it. He's looking for support. All one here. It's a long shot. Reasonable effort, but lacked accuracy. Well, I think the defence has got to start asking questions of themselves there. They let him get in the shot unchallenged. Fifteen minutes left of the first half. There's the opportunity for a ball in to open the score. They're moving well down the right-hand side. That was careless. No goals here, and in truth, it's looking set to stay that way with half-time fast approaching. He's gone for goal. And the ball ends up in the keeper's gloves. Only one minute to be added on. Oh, great defending there. The whistle goes for half-time, and the players head off to the dressing rooms, with the managers, no doubt, having plenty to say during the break. How did you see that half, Trevor? It's quite tight, Peter. I think if they can just retain possession for longer, then they really stand a chance of winning this one. Neither side conceding a goal, then. It's nil-nil.
The second half underway. Will the players respond to their respective managers' half-time team talks? Let's see which team can take control in the second half. And he finds his man in space on the left. Got the ball in, but no one could make a connection. Will there be a goal here? What a finish! That's their first of the match. Ten minutes played in the second half. Great goal from the forward. The stalemate's over and we have a game on our hands. OK, it was a bit of a wait, but it was worth it. The defenders just couldn't get close enough to him, could they? Well, the movement and the anticipation were so good and that's always difficult to defend against. They've taken the lead. How do you see the game developing from here on then, Trevor? Well, from the fans' point of view, the goal's great news. Their opponents can no longer sit back, content with things as they stand. Can he keep it going? He cleared. Well, to maintain possession, he's off on the long run. Worked really hard to get the ball back then. Great work to win the ball. Almost 75 minutes have gone. Pushing further forward. Kept possession well on the attack here. Chance for another goal, perhaps. What will he do now? Dealt with the threat well. It's an own goal. How embarrassing. They'll be... They've conceded the goal at the worst time imaginable, Trevor. Well, you're right, Peter. They've got to go for broke now. And he's having a pop. The referee's whistle goes, and that's it. It ends in defeat for them. They fought so well, so hard, right to the bitter end, too. The players gave it absolutely everything. But in the end, it wasn't quite enough, and they haven't got the result they wanted. So, Trevor, no shock there. Not at all, Peter. I'm sure the manager will see a few positives from the performance, and maybe they can build on this despite the loss. And that closes our coverage this afternoon. My thanks to co-presenter Trevor Brooking. Thanks, Peter. And from us both, good afternoon.